Hello, stock traders. I hope all of you had a fantastic trading day and are picking up some good value in the stock market right now. I do believe that we are close to the bottom on this correction, so looking forward to better gains and better gains to come. In this video, I'm going to give you three stocks with upcoming FDA approvals that you just won't want to miss now year to date. Personally, I am at a 174.48% gain. I am not a financial advisor. Of course, you need to do your own due diligence on any stock that you get into and have a plan and a strategy. My two favorite strategies are the insider swing play and the PDUFA run up play. And the second of those two is the ones we're going to talk about today. All the stocks today, the three stocks covered in today's video are part of that PDUFA run up strategy. But before we get to going, if you could do me a favor, please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when a new video comes out. Now, if you are looking for my buy and sell alerts on when I am buying and selling any stock, of course, that is just what I'm doing. You need to show your own due diligence on doing something like that. But if you want my buy and sell alerts, please be a part of that Patreon group. We have a link in the description down below for only $27 a month. You will easily make it up with one great trade and there are fantastic trades in there each and every day. I alert to overbought levels and all kinds of other alerts throughout the day. So you will want to be a part. Now there are other levels in there. We have a standard and premium level also if you are wanting uh, some more feedback and more picks um, from some professional traders that standard and premium room is for you. So the PDUFA run-up strategy. Here is the strategy and I'm actually going to give you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for four things. I'm looking for a stock that has a PDUFA date or an FDA decision date anywhere between one and six weeks away. It's got to be at least one week away before I ever consider a PDUFA run-up. Number two, the next thing that I have to have is a significant drug up for approval. Um, like, for example, if it's a drug for removing, um, I don't know, warts, let's say, for example, I wouldn't call that significant. But if it's a drug that causes and cures cancer and is a move forward in technology or helps with diabetic retinopathy or any other kind of cancer, um, then it's very, very important or it's it's considered significant. So that's something I'm looking for. Number three, I'm looking for a price target by analysts of at least 30% upside. You don't want to get into one of these run-up stocks and have nowhere to run up to, and those analyst target price are important now. Uh, they are important for this strategy. You are looking for stuff that has that 30% upside. Also, you're looking for a company number four, and this is probably the most important thing because if any of you have been in, in a biotech stock and had them do an offering and see the price of the stock fall through the floor, you know how painful that can be. And so you really want to make sure that there's available cash. And you can find that out usually by the last earnings report when the company will run out of cash most of these companies that are getting fda approval it's either their first approval their first drug up for approval and they've needed money along the way to improve it and so that's something that you'll need to watch for all right let's get into the list we got three great stocks here and i think you should be able to make some money on these i am in all three of these already and i feel very strongly that they're going to continue to move up and will look really good. Okay, so let's go to number three. Number three is Clearside Biomedical, ticker symbol CLSD. And analysts have an average target price on this stock of $11.60 a share. My personal average in this stock is $5.13. Since calling this out, it is up 9.12%. We just called this out last week in our uh, Discord group. And so far, it's looking really good. They have a PDUFA date of October 30th. And so that's coming up. And they have a drug that's up for approval that helps with diabetic macular edema, which affects millions and millions of people. And so it is very, very significant. So I love the value that this stock was. Now, it's still a good value. It is right at 45 on RSI, on the daily RSI. So it's by no means overbought. 
And so this is still a good deal. So if you are watching this and you're seeing this and you, you this was not on your radar, but this is a stock and maybe something you want to try, I think there's lots of upside left in this stock. Let's take a look at some of the areas of resistance. We have an area of resistance and rejection here at 625. We have another um, at 733. Uh, we have an area of rejection here at 690, so on and so forth. So this level right here has been important because it has failed that level a couple times. That's right around $7.30. 773 is that big time high. And so this is a stock that has quite a bit of upside here and we could see it really move up nicely all the way up to that October 30th approval date. Let's hope it's an approval. But just so you catch it, this is a PDUFA run up strategy. This is not a buy a stock, hold for too long through FDA decision, have it get declined and lose all your money strategy. That is not what you're trying to do. I play the run up. That is by far the safest way to play these. Yes, you will get a home run every once in a while. If you play the approval, you'll get an approval. It'll have a high short percentage. A lot of people will cover. And then all of a sudden the stock goes through the roof and you're playing the FOMO game. Oh, I wish I would have had it. I would rather take my 10 to 30 or 50% gains prior to approval than risk approval and risk everything and what the FDA is going to decide because they are very unpredictable. All right, let's go to number two. Number two is Eton Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol E-T-O-N. I have had this stock a lot over the last couple of years. They have so many drugs in their pipeline that are really, really moving up. Now, my price target for this is $14 a share, and analysts share that same opinion that $14 a share is the average target price for this. My, my entry on this was at $4.83, found a really good value, and I'm looking forward to the run up here big time on the stock. Since calling this out, it's up 4.42%. That's not very much, and it should continue to climb and do really well. Now, they have a PDUFA date of November 6th, so we have some time here. And it's a migraine drug that's up for approval, so it is very very significant migraines affect millions of americans and so i expect there to be some excitement especially as we get closer to approval day the same drug has shown effectiveness against seizures and so that's pretty fantastic to have a drug that has two different uses and so there's lots of marketability for this drug and so for that reason and also for value reasons and high analyst target and Eton Pharmaceuticals has plenty of cash. There's no need for an offering to happen anytime soon. So that is good. All those things are lining up. This is perfect for this strategy. Now, something to watch here. You can see this 50 uh, moving average here, this moving average 50. And you can see it's it's got it's gone up against it quite a few times and got denied. Denied, 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 denied until today. Then today, um, and if you're watching this video on Wednesday morning, I'm talking about Tuesday. Tuesday, this broke through. So nice little breakthrough. Uh, it looks like Eton Pharma is up for better, better times. Okay, so where do I think it can go? Well, looking at the chart here, uh, you can see it's had resistance big time here at $6 a share. That's a little unfair because... Um, I mean, there was just kind of a short attack here. I'm not sure exactly what happened. There's so many different news events with these biomedicals that it's sometimes difficult on this. Uh, okay, so this one here, you can see another area of resistance, a 636. Um, but anyway, uh, this could really, really climb. I think it could get, as, could get as high as $14 a share prior to approval, which is really, really crazy. But uh, I would expect, and I think it would be more reasonable to think that we'd be looking for right around the $7, $7.50 price range on this. And uh, anyway, this is one that I think will do very well, very significant drug, well worth investing in and um, should look good. All right, let's go to number one. Number one is Adamus Pharma, ticker symbol ADMP. And my average in this is at a dollar and a penny. Since calling this out, it is up 4.91%. They have a PDUFA date that is right around a month away on November 12th. And so this is an injection drug for opioid overdose. Now, there's only one analyst I can even find on this. And the one SAP 
who did the analyst approval on this, put it at a dollar, which you would be like, well, Ray, this doesn't fit your strategy. It doesn't fit that one criteria, but I like it because it fits everything else. They have plenty of cash. They're looking good as far as cash goes. The drug is so significant. And so I think it overshadows that. And it's just because it hasn't gotten any coverage. Sometimes you'll run into this, you'll run into a PDUFA or an FDA approval decision date type of stock. And uh, there just aren't any analysts looking at it. So I like this one for a big move. We just had a MACD Golden Cross down here. We are now on the north side of that 50-day moving average. Things are looking pretty sharp for Adamus Pharma. And I think this could really, really climb. This is a special one in that I think it could double prior to FDA approval date of November 12th. So this could be a really big home run. There's not a lot of risk. I really feel that this is a really good value. The only risk would be is if they announced and the FDA gave them an early CRL, complete response letter, which is very, very bad. And if they did that and they did that prior to approval date, which has happened a couple of times in the last couple of months, you used to never see that. Usually if you have on these FDA approval dates, if you have good news, you get it early. If it's bad news, you get it late or after the date. And so that has been a good rule of thumb, but that has not been the case here lately with the FDA. Anyway, this is one drug that is extremely significant. Also a stock with a lot of upside. I think that this one can do very, very well. It fits the strategy in every which way but loose except for one. So I will take that because we got a MACD Golden Cross and lots of momentum going on the stock. And so I feel very good on it. I wish all of you the best on the stock market. Please reach out to me in the comment section down below. I wish you all the best and Raytoven out.